everyone, my name is Ramon. I work here at Therapeutic Recreation. And I'm Diana. I also work here at Therapeutic Recreation in Palm Beach County. And today we're going to demonstrate for you some upper body stretches and exercises. So I hope you guys are ready, because we're ready, and uh, let's get to it. Okay guys, so the first stretch we're going to do is called the doorway stretch. It's going to be good to kind of open up the chest here and really stretch out the chest muscles. So Diana's going to show us this first stretch. So you want to make sure you want to put your arms in the doorway at about 90 degrees, okay? And then you're going to slowly lean forward. So you should feel that stretch right in the chest. And I want you to hold that for 30 seconds. We're going to do two sets. Also, as you can see here, it's also working out the back because you get that contraction between the shoulder blades as well as she's holding in this position. So you're not only just working out and stretching out the chest, you're also stretching out your back as well. For this next stretch, we're going to stretch out the bicep muscle here. So first thing we're gonna do, Diana's gonna show you guys, you're gonna put your arm on the wall and you wanna slowly rotate your body away from your arm. So you can see she's getting that nice stretch here in her bicep. And you're also gonna feel this in the chest as well. So she's gonna hold this here for only 15 seconds, but for you guys, I want you doing it for 30 seconds and we're gonna do two sets. Okay, so for this next stretch, I'm sure you guys have done this one before. This is the deltoid stretch or the shoulder stretch. You're gonna bring one arm across your body, the other arm's gonna come underneath, and you're gonna move that towards your chest. We're gonna hold this here for 15, but for you guys, we're gonna do 30 seconds for two sets. So you should be really feeling that stretch all through here, all through your shoulders. Really making sure you're pulling that in close to your chest. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. Okay, so next we have the tricep stretch. So for this one, you're going to bring the arm up over your head and you're going to use your other arm to kind of pull to the other side here. You're going to hold that for 30 seconds, two sets, okay? But a modified version, just in case anybody has any trouble with shoulder pain, you can just bring your arms up and you're going to grab at your wrist and just pull to the opposite side. And you should still feel that stretch in your tricep. So we're going to do both sides and again, sets for 30 seconds. So being seated at the office for a long period of time, you may start to have some neck pain. So we're going to stretch out our necks right now. The first thing we're going to do, arm comes behind the head. We're going to bring the neck down. Bring your head down. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Now as you hold, you don't want to be applying too much pressure to the back of your head. You're just guiding your head down but you should feel that stretch in the back of your neck. Once we're done with this one, you want to hand on the forehead and we're going to go back. Some extension here. We're going to hold that. Same thing as we did for the first one. Now, we're going to do a lateral both sides. So arm comes over the head and you're going to pull to the opposite side. Hold that for the 30. And then we're going to go to the other side and do the same exact thing. Okay, so we just completed our stretches. Now it's time to move on to the workout. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is our arm circles. We wanna get our, we already did our stretches, but now we're gonna get the shoulders and the arms nice and warm. Arms come out to your sides. You're gonna do two circles. You can start either counterclockwise or clockwise, whichever way. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna stop and rotate the opposite direction and do that for 30 more seconds. I'm feeling the burn right now. Are you feeling it? Oh yeah. I'm glad we stretched. Just make sure you stretch before you were started up with us. You know, make sure you stretch before every exercise. You wanna get your muscles warmed up before doing every, uh, our uh, full workout. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna focus on the shoulders. So we're gonna do front and lateral raises. So we're gonna start off, arms straight ahead, up, back down, and then to the side, and back down. But we're only gonna do five here, but for you guys, I want you to do, try to achieve 10 to 15, and we're gonna do two sets. Earlier, we did some stretches for the chest, so now we're gonna go into the workout. So we're gonna do wall push-ups. Just like your standard push-up you do on the ground, but instead we're using the wall here. So Diana's gonna position her arms right in front of her. Now, arms should be about a little more than shoulder width apart, okay? You should maintain straightness in your whole body. Legs should be nice and straight. And we're just gonna begin 
going towards the wall, bending the elbows. There we go. Pushing back out. So Diana's only going to do about five here, but I want you guys to go for ten. We're going to do two sets. How was that chest feeling? Feels good. You know, another modification you can do to this is if you feel like these are a little too easy, find a desk or a countertop. It gives you a little bit further of an incline or decline and do your push-ups that way. Okay, for our next exercise, we're going to focus on the biceps. So we're going to do some curls. Now, if you don't have any weights at home, you can grab some water bottles or you can grab a backpack and fill it up with stuff, anything around the house, make it a little bit heavier, add a little bit more resistance. So we're just gonna start with the arms by our side. Diana's gonna demonstrate using a band here. So we're gonna just come, curl, and you wanna kinda of squeeze and hold at the top here. So make sure you're going all the way down, coming all the way up at the top, and then giving a little squeeze and hold for about just one second. Make sure that when you're using an exercise band that you always check it before use for any grips or tears. Also, for this specific exercise, you want to make sure that it's planted completely and securely below both feet so that way it doesn't puff out on you. For our last exercise, you want to make sure you have a chair and you want to make sure that it's sturdy and stable. This ensures that it will not tip over and you can also prop it up against the wall. Focus on the triceps. We're going to do some tricep dips. So the way I'm going to do them, I'm going to have my legs straight. A little bit more challenging. Bring one leg over the other. Diana's going to have her legs at about 90 degrees. A little bit more easier modified version. And you're just going to dip down. Arms should come about 90 degrees and back up. You should really feel your tricep here contracting. Keep your head forward. And most importantly, maintain your breathing as you do each one. Everyone, that's a wrap. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for joining us. And remember, the only, only bad, bad workout, workout is the, the one, one that, that didn't happen. happen.